Hey everyone, welcome back to Aspiring Writer Academy, where we're all about helping you write, publish, and promote your fictional novel. Whether you're just starting out or have been writing for years, this channel is here to support authors of all levels who want to keep growing and take their writing to the next level. So in this video, I'm covering how to create those clickable table of contents that you have in your ebook, where a reader can just click on the link and bounce from chapter to chapter. So I'll be covering how to do that in your Microsoft Word document. Okay, so to make these chapter headings a little bit nicer looking and format them where they look good and also make it easy to make that clickable table of contents tab in the beginning of your ebook, you're going to want to create a custom style. You can do this in multiple ways from the home tab. There's this strip here where you can click on the styles, this little down arrow. And that brings up styles where you can see existing ones and you can hit that A plus to create a new style. Or another simple method is to just highlight the, your chapter one here, right click, and you can click on styles, the style tab. And from there, you can either apply a style or create a style. We're going to create one that way it's easily recognizable and easy to add your clickable table of contents into your ebook. So we're going to click create a style, give that style a name. I'm going to name it table of contents, TOC, just do the abbreviation and then click modify. And here you have your font option, going to have it centered again bop that up to 16 which is pretty industry standard for ebooks keep it black okay so all of that is looking good and you can click okay so that there now created in your top style bar there's my toc now if i scroll down chapter two it'll make that exactly the same as chapter one in formatting. So I'm scrolling down to chapter two and you just highlight and you can click TOC and that you do that on repeat throughout your whole manuscript. Now, once you've gone through your entire manuscript, adjusting and cleaning up everything that you want to clean up, entering all your images and hyperlinks at the end of your book for your other stories and you're ready to create your table of contents you're going to go to the blank page that you created and remember when inserting a blank page you just go over to insert and blank page and so let's say if i want one above here can click blank page and when you have the home a paragraph tab you can see there's a blank page right there so I'm going to click my cursor right here where I want my clickable ebook table of contents page to go. And under the home, go over to references. So on the references tab, you can scroll over to the left where there's table of contents, down click, and then we're going to click on custom table of contents. So right here on custom table of contents. We're going to unclick show page numbers. You'll leave that on when formatting for paperback books, but when formatting the ebook, you want that off. That way it's the clickable hyperlinks where people can click on chapter one, click on chapter two, and immediately jump to that chapter. And then you select a layout. There's all different ones you can scroll through. For this tutorial, I'm just going to click on fancy. Then you're going to click on this options tab and going to click right here and scroll through and delete the one from heading. And you're going to want to select the title, the heading style that you used for your chapter titles. So over here, I'm going to click on my table of contents and click on one. And that selects everything in your table of contents. Then click OK and make sure that your format, be careful sometimes when going back from options, it automatically wants to recheck that show page numbers icon. And so just 
Make sure that's toggled off. That way only the checkbox with use hyperlinks instead of page numbers is selected. Then you have your format and then click OK. Now, boom, right here, it inserted a whole bunch of links. If there's anything that shows up in the table of contents that you don't want to link to or have in your TOC, but you wanted that same style, you can easily delete it. So in this book, I use the same table of contents style header for chapter one. I included a bonus chapter to one of Darlene's stories in the back of her book. And so I'll delete that. So you just highlight that one and delete it. So right here showing up as table of contents, acknowledgments, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And so, for example, if I click on that, it takes me to acknowledgments and scroll up. Let's click on chapter five, it takes to the chapter five. And then Kindle can reference this table of contents when uh, they get your book. And so it adds it to Kindle's table of contents. So in addition to the front page here being clickable, it helps the Kindle system navigate and where they have their own drop down on Kindle Fires and other Kindle devices where people can select these chapters and easily go to the different chapters in your book. So that's how you create a table of contents. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and advice to help you write, publish, and promote your novel. By the way, if you're looking for a little extra help to kickstart your story, don't forget to download our free brainstorming your story idea worksheet. I'll have the link to that in the description below. It has a bunch of super easy fill in the blank templates and story examples to help you nail down your setting, characters, plot, and more. All right, catch you next time.